City of Green Bay is one step closer to placing an ordinance on massage parlors. This comes after an NBC 26 investigation in May where police records showed violations at several spas. Your Green Bay neighborhood reporter Tyler Job was at City Hall where the Common Council took up that proposal. But the ordinance created some pushback from massage therapists. In May, NBC 26 obtained police records revealing several violations at some spas in Green Bay. In particular, the spas cited in the records were the Gone, Sunrise, and Dream spas along Military Avenue. The records explained that in January of this year, a male customer reported to police a female masseuse grabbed him in a sexual manner during a massage at the Sunrise Spa. I don't know the, 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 the solution other than trying to crack down on some of these uh, non uh, unreputable places that are truly victimizing or perhaps running prostitution. The city is working on a new law requiring all massage establishments to have licenses. It is imposing certain boundaries and regulations on the business that employs them. Wisconsin state statute already requires massage therapists to have licenses. During Tuesday's Common Council meeting, City Attorney Joanne Bunkert said a goal of the city's ordinance is to get rid of illicit spas. The purpose of the legislation is to ensure that the establishments are, are operating in a safe, in a safe manner. Um, are safe for patrons, safe for surrounding neighborhoods. However, some massage therapists push back on the proposal. This ordinance is a parody. There's no other pro healthcare profession that has this same establishment license arbitrarily applied to them. We just don't want to be targeted in a way unique because of massage. In the current ordinance, massage therapy would be allowed in residentially owned businesses and hours of operation would be from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. But parlors would be required to have a waiting area. The ordinance also defines intimate parts of the body. It explains that a massage parlor could have its license revoked by the Common Council if therapists expose their intimate parts to other people. It groups our profession with prostitution. What it is is people are, are, are taking your reputation and, and ruining it by having illegitimate practices within communities. We're just trying to protect and not, by having you have a license, you're getting on board and saying, we're a good one. By an 8-3 to three vote, the Common Council voted to approve the ordinance. The Council is expected to adopt it in the near future. Between now and that time, the Common Council can make amendments to the ordinance. The spa ordinance is currently scheduled to take effect on February 1st next year. In Green Bay, Tyler Job, NBC 26.